Okay, Whew. finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, that we've been looking forward to for years now, NAB Show 2022. We're gonna show you around, please join us. We're gonna show you all the coolest gear in the world of broadcasting <laughs> and AV, so let's go. All right, day one NAB. Uh, our first booth to stop by is Canon, of course. So hi, tell me what's new at Canon. What's the, what are the latest updates? What should we know about? Uh, we have a lot to show here at the show this year. We're very excited to be back. Uh, first, we have our dual fisheye lens that shoots VR on our EOS R5 and R5C cameras. So it gives you 180 degree virtual reality on a single camera with a single lens. Uh, that's very exciting for us. So we have our Oculus headsets to uh, debut some demo footage for everybody and give them that full experience. Uh, we also have our new broadcast lens, the UJ122 with autofocus. Uh, it's going to be a very big lens here at the show. We're expecting to see a lot of excitement about it. We're also rolling out two new cinema lenses. Uh, these are cinema zooms that cover full frame sensors. So these have a constant T2.4 aperture through the entire zoom range with no fall off. These are going to be very big in the cinema world. They'll cover everything from uh, the uh, red Monstro sensor, C500 Mark II full frame sensor, all the way through our uh, lineup with PL and EF swappable mounts. So it'll go on a Canon camera, an Ari camera, anything. Uh, we also have our new PTZ lineup of cameras. Those are 4K quality PTZ cameras. Uh, they are indoor and outdoor. They're compatible with a whole host of protocols and control systems, including NDI. Uh, we're very excited to show those off for both our broadcast, our house of worship customers, uh, as well as our educational institutions. Um, let's think what else. Oh. Our, our, there's, there's, more. there's more, there's more. It's, it, it's been three, it's been quite, I told you, it's been a little while since we've been back here at NAB. Uh, we have our new DPV 1830 4K reference display. Uh, this reference display is uh, 1000 nits and it offers a beautiful HDR imagery for on set for mobile trucks and broadcast. Uh, it's very portable and it is uh, making a lot of headway in the broadcast truck market right now. So we're excited to roll that out here as well. We're on our way to Sennheiser, let's go. All right, now we're at Sennheiser. Um, I wanna ask you, what's new at Sennheiser? What are the latest updates? Um, can you tell us what people need to know Absolutely. about the latest gear? Yeah, so we're Sennheiser and Neumann, and what, a couple of things that we're showing here new at the show, which are gonna be really cool, are gonna be some brand new speaker technologies. So we've got our new KH150 prototypes up, uh, all running over networks. So we've got a whole AS67 running a Dolby Atmos system here. Um, we're also able to do some virtual reality mixing using our Spatial Connect software. So we've got a lot of really cool technology that we're talking about here at the show. This entire area here is our immersive audio system running with the new Neumann speakers over network. Um, so you've got this whole space here with speakers up top and then also in the front and the back. We have all of our shotgun microphones and we have everything from our entry-level MKE 200, which is great for going on top of a camera, um, all the way up to our 8000 series shotguns, which are here, which are for super high-end, long-range, uh, and we make everything in between. We also have really popular is our portable wireless systems. Um, you guys are actually using one here. Um, and these are everything from, again, entry-level, which is XS Wireless Digital, all the way up to our AVX digital systems. Uh, for portable use and our 6000 series with our 6042 as well. There's a dog, look. There's a little Frenchie right there. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. All right, Chase, can you tell me what's new on the camera side of Air of RA, please? Absolutely. So th for this show, we're showcasing our relatively new, first time at NAB at least, Amira Live camera system. So the Amira Live is a cinematic multi-cam system. It takes our Amira camera, which a lot of people were using for live production before with other solutions, and what we came up with is an integrated fiber solution into the back of the camera. So the idea is that we're bringing our airy look that you normally only see in movies and television and high-end commercials to something like live production, what we're showing here with a band. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's see what's new um, about the lenses at Ari. Tell me more. Well, these are our new Signature Prime lenses. They're not actually, I guess they're not super new. They came out in 2018, but the Primes have really taken off and we've built a complimentary set of four zooms, uh, which are the first zooms that match Primes in the digital world. In the film world, it was a lot easier because film is a very organic medium, so you could, the tolerance is, you could be a little off with the matching between primes and zooms to get away with it. Digital is not very forgiving. So we looked at a lot of different lens design options and we thought, like, what, what are we going to be watching in 10 or 15 years? And it's going to be HDR, high resolution. That really tortures lenses. They cover large format, but they're exceptional for Super 35 as well. And in fact, our next camera is going to have a Super 35 sensor, but it will have the same lens mount that these lenses come with, which is LPL. So we're hoping it becomes the new standard. Now other manufacturers are slowly catching on. So in the lighting section of the RE booth this year, we are fully focusing on the Orbiture, including the latest releases of accessories that we have for the Orbiture. And we're starting off with the docking ring. The docking ring is the one of the latest additions to the um, accessory range of the Orbiture. And the docking ring allows for the attachment of third-party projection optics. So as you can see here, we have uh, prepared uh, two docking rings together with ETC, EDLT optics. So that's an easy tool to, um, to mount third-party projection optics and then mount them onto the, uh, onto the orbiter. When we step over here, you can see that the docking ring holds the lens and then you're able to do projections and global projections, shutter cuts, etc., etc. Further, we have the Dome Mini. The Dome Mini is an alternative for you know, omni, omnidirectional lighting. Small, compact, very sturdy equipment. So as an alternative to the smaller uh, fabric domes. So basically just the same thing as the fabric domes, just in a more compact and, and transportable kind of way. Okay, we're at Aperture and look at all this cool stuff. But this one right here is going to be released tomorrow. So stay tuned because that's when you're going to see what's in that box. Looks so cool. Sony, where are you? It's so big here. Okay, okay. Ooh, I think I spotted it. Let's go. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Okay, so for all the visitors out there, what should we be looking at at Sony? So there is a lot of new and exciting product here at Sony, both from our broadcast side and the cinema line, especially we have the Venice 2, which is the most popular uh, in flagship cinema camera that we have now. But here at this particular counter, we have our family of cinema line cameras, obviously, starting with the original Venice. They all share the same DNA, kind of like uh, learning from the knowledge base we have from our Venice camera, flagship camera, trickled down to all of these products as far as the look and the DNA and lots of similarity that we have in here. So we're excited uh, to be offered to uh, have the full line of cinema line starting from FX3, FX6, FX9, Venice, and Venice 2 uh, that uh, just started shipping. We saw a very cool car that we're going to check out and of course some cool camera gear that comes with that. Okay, we see this amazing car and some amazing equipment attached to it. Can you tell us what it is? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. so this is our newest uh, speed rail mounting kit, which is a kit that we made for connecting to our Hydra Alien with the Predator mount. Essentially, we've had a couple different car mounting systems. Uh, the one over there is a couple years old. It's kind of like an all-in-one kit designed you know, for smaller cameras with the RS2. This new system in two separate parts is designed to allow people to use their existing car mount systems if they've already purchased through us, uh, but also support Support bigger arms. These suction cups each hold 50 pounds, so you could use full-size gimbals on this if you'd like. This is our newest matte box. So this is the Tilta Mirage, uh, and essentially what this is is it is a 95 millimeter clamp-on matte box that is designed to connect with these filter threads, similar to other you know smaller matte boxes. Um, the idea is to kind of bridge a matte box that'll work on cinema lenses, so smaller you know lenses like um, ultra primes or like sigma cine lenses, this will connect right onto. Um, but if you're using like photography lenses, you have the filter thread adapter. What is also interesting, there's a new 
95 millimeter circular filter tray and there's also the ability to control it with a wireless motor so this is definitely one of the more high concept systems we've made in a little bit um, but just trying to give you know some flexible options to people who um, you know maybe don't have a, an affordable system that can do that the kind of flagship filter is the variable nd so you have between one and nine stops. So this is a great solution for anyone who's using, you know, a, a Komodo, a, some, some camera that doesn't have, uh, you know, ND internally. All right, that was it for the first day. Join us tomorrow, We're gonna show you a lot more. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet and follow our channel for more content like this.